in question 4 of this exercise we are given three statements and we have to state whether these statements are true or false and we have to give reasons for our answers the first statement says every natural number is a whole number this statement is true because the set of whole numbers is simply the set of natural numbers combined with the element 0 so the set of natural numbers is the set 1, 2, 3 and so on all the numbers all the natural numbers the set of whole numbers is all these numbers combined with the element 0 so 0 is the only additional element in the set of whole numbers compared to the set of natural numbers so the set of whole numbers is 0, 1, 2, 3 and so on so clearly every natural number also occurs in the set of whole numbers so every natural number is a whole number so the first statement is true the second statement says every integer is a whole number now this statement is false because the set of integers also has negative integers which do not occur in the set of whole numbers for example the integer minus 7 is not a whole number and so on any negative integer is not a whole number however the converse will be true every whole number is surely an integer as well so this statement every integer is a whole number is actually false now the third statement says every rational number is a whole number this statement is false and it's easy to see why for example take the rational number 3 by 2 which lies between 1 and 2 so 3 by 2 lies between 1 and 2 and it's a rational number in the set of whole numbers there is no number between 1 and 2 so clearly not every rational number is a whole number but every whole number is surely a rational number so this statement every rational number is a whole number is actually false so the first statement is true and the remaining two statements are false in question 4 to learn more about how QMath can help you crack school and board exams, explore QMath Leap, a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers.